I think to properly diagnose visual snow syndrome, you really should use the International Headache Society criteria for visual snow. So that's your starting point, is taking a very good history from a patient and understanding what their symptoms are and then making sure that they meet the criteria. And then secondly, you need a good eye exam. So making sure that there are no eye diseases or eye problems that are contributing to symptoms that sometimes can overlap with visual snow syndrome. So if you have a good eye exam, an ophthalmologist or a neuro-ophthalmologist can provide that and you meet the criteria and you're in the hands of somebody who understands or knows about visual snow, then I think that's generally all you really need. If there's anything in the history that what we call in, the, in medical practice as a red flag, meaning this is a symptom that doesn't fit with visual snow, um, then a lot of times we'll do an MRI scan. And that's to make sure that a symptom that doesn't fit with visual snow is not due to a treatable condition, so to speak.